Warning! The following video contains images of Uncle John that some viewers may find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Ready to go! Welcome everybody to another episode of Uncle John's Arm Wrestling Training Vlog. Spicy one for you today. We got a super match. My first left-handed super match since last summer, I think it was. And the last time I had a super match, I got whooped by Steven Marcou. So there was a lot going into this super match. I'm going to give you a brief context of some of the shenanigans that were afoot uh, before the match even happened, which boggled my mind uh, to this day. Uh, and then we'll take a look at the edited version of the match, which is, you know, a little, a little bit more artsy. And then after that, I'm going to show you the full version of all of the matches, and I'll do a commentary to kind of let you guys know what I did, how I executed uh, my plan, and how it all worked out. All right, so the super match. This was a match that was brought to me about, I don't know, uh, four or five weeks ago and I took it immediately. Uh, it was myself versus Rob McNamara. Rob is a guy who I've gone back and forth with left-handed multiple times over the last seven years. Uh, we've had wars, we've had long matches. Uh, I've gotten the best of him, he's gotten the best of me. So uh, although I didn't go out seeking this match, I was very happy to, to take part in it because me beating Rob it, it is very important to me. One, because I respect Rob's level of ability to, to a great sense. And two, if I could beat Rob at a lower weight, it means that what I'm doing is, is, is putting me on the right path, right? If I could succeed and still maintain my power that I had at 300 pounds and then 250 pounds at 210, which is where I am now, um, that's a really, really good sign. So I was very keen to not only pull this match, but I was very motivated to win. Now, when you watch this match, I put a warning at the beginning of this video because Uncle John is a little bit of a psycho in this match. And there's a, a few reasons that I was a psycho in this match. This was the first time I've been involved in, in an arm wrestling competition where there was like massive levels of high school drama surrounding the match. Uh, and none of it had to do with, with my opponent. With, with my opponent Rob McNamara. Nothing but good feelings about Rob and, and thankful that he pulled me and happy to have pulled him at the end of the day. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the drama, but man, I was wound up. So if you're wondering why I'm such a nutcase in this match, one, it's because being a nutcase really helps uh, in some cases if you can, if you can streamline that psycho uh, feeling inside of you, it can really help you. But number two, I was really fucking pissed off. So other than the fact that I was mega pissed off going into this match, um, everything was perfect. My training was perfect leading up to it. Uh, my diet was perfect leading up to it. We ramped up uh, the calories throughout the week. I was able to kind of deload myself. Uh, I had plenty of time off from the table and uh, there were no injuries. There were no excuses. There was no nothing for me. I was 100% ready to go. So, enough of me talking. Let's check out the super match.
So, what do you think? A little too psycho? Maybe a little too psycho at, at, at times in that match, but uh, it did work for me. It, it did help give me that edge with my nervous system being so ramped up. Uh, the intensity is 100% real. Uh, that was real emotion. That was me really being pissed off. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm very happy that Rob and I uh, are able to ramp things up during a match and then realize that you know you don't have to carry that animosity over afterwards. And that's what I recommend to all pullers. Get, figure out a way to get yourself to that level of what I call manufactured anger uh, and then be able to turn it off as soon as you leave the table. That's the key. So uh, let's take a look now at the full continuity of the match. I'll tell you what I did, what my plan was, how I enacted that plan, how I was feeling throughout, and maybe we'll all learn a little something. All right, here we go. Zubas and all. Uncle John versus Rob McNamara. Rob was pretty fired up for this one, too. I was, I was happy to see that. Now, uh, my plan going into this was I knew that my stamina was going to be better than Rob's. Uh, I was afraid that Rob's power was going to be better than mine. So the first thing you're going to notice, this first match is going, you know, it's going to straps, it's going, there's multiple fouls, and it's also in referee's grip. That is all by design. Um, this, what you're seeing here, is all basically just uh, me moving around, making sure I don't get a foul for stalling, but I want this grip to last as long as possible, because the more I can make this, the longer I can make the grip last, the better off I'm going to be in the long run because I train my stamina in my hand to an extreme extent. So I just want this to keep going forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Now, here we go with the referee's grip. Now, the other thing I'm doing is, I don't really have a name for it, but I would say it's, it's a thumb dump with a hand rise, okay? I'm pressing my thumb down into Rob's hand to get, make it more difficult for him to rise up while my hand is rising. And I'll just keep that pressure in there. It's a lot of thumb pressure going down, but I, I train for that uh, because I never want to be the one who is tired in the match. So now we're to the referee's grip. Um, I still didn't know at this point uh, where things were gonna go. Just trying to get as high as possible. I maintained the hand control, Rob rolled into it. Um, I was a little disappointed in myself that I wasn't, I, I should have gotten my fingers up and over uh, his hand to at the very least make, make that last a little bit longer, make him pay a little bit more for that slip out. Um, I'm totally fine going to straps, I prefer going to straps, but I've really, honestly, since I've gotten to know Cobra Rhodes and I've been watching so much Cobra footage, I've decided that uh, going, letting people, or getting to straps without making people pay is a fruitless endeavor. Uh, so anytime I'm planning to slip, I'm gonna try to get that hand control first and you know cause some damage to my opponent's hand before we get into the straps. This is all a long-term game. And this, of course, doesn't really count in a tournament. I don't really wanna do that in a tournament, but in a super match where it's you know best of five, I wanna start that train rolling earlier. So we're in the straps, referee's grip still. And this is where I knew, and this is where I also just like the psychoness kicked into gear. Uh, that one was an elbow foul on Rob. I felt real good though. The wrist, I was able to take the wrist with, with just straight pronation. Um, so that, that felt good. Now, watch Rob and what Rob does here because Rob is a very smart arm wrestler. A lot of times someone is going to go right back to the well and, and try something different. But he totally changed his game on on this next this next pull so straight inside another elbow foul so i was able to contain uh his roll i was it was able to contain his hand completely and then that last one i i stopped the press as well so that's one win for me uh albeit on fouls now you'll notice the deafening silence in this room as as we're arm wrestling and i'm just i am so mad uh, right now like I, I know it doesn't seem like I'm losing my mind But on the inside like I didn't talk to anybody when I got in there. I went in there. I warmed up a little bit 
uh, and and I went and I I went to the bathroom and looked at myself in the mirror, and I was ready to go. Um, so I was really locked in, and I think people could feel it. There was definitely some uncomfortableness going on in that room uh, with the level of intensity that that we brought to this match. So match number two now, I'm up one to nothing. I've already achieved pretty much extreme confidence that my hand uh, will will be able to, to stay in there. And this time, you can see, I learned from that first match, I was able to get my fingers up and over his hand in order to, to make him pay a little bit more for the, the inevitable flip. And there I was, there's my wound up miss going there. I said, who's got the hand? That is the question of all time. Who does have the hand? And today it was it was me that had the hand. And now I'm back at the table. I'm pushing him to get up there as quickly as possible. I want there to be as few breaks going on. I don't want to mess around with letting him get any of that stamina back. I want to push as hard as I can to, to, to make him go, 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 and go. So the restart, we got one foul on Rob in this one. And this was another thing. I definitely didn't want this match to, to be dictated on, on fouls. I wanted to get some clean wins, and here we go again. I took the hand at that time. I had, you'll notice if you go back and you rewind, I had a much better hand position on Rob's hand in that one. I was able to not allow him to, to twist my, my wrist in or anything. And um, that felt good. And here we're both getting wound up now, uh, trying to feed, feed off a little bit. And this is, this is me zoning in. I didn't, like, I don't really specifically in my own mind remember a whole hell of a lot that's going on. Like referees having a good time, a uh, little, little, little bit of uncomfortableness in the crowd, but I'm just, like, hell-bent, absolutely hell-bent on uh, making my point known in this match. Uh, for a number of reasons. One, uh, I got dumped on quite a bit on Facebook, people telling me that I was going to get my arm ripped off and that I was going to get beat three to nothing. Uh, so, uh, and here we go with the stare. This is just total trance mode. I, I just was so locked in and just like homing missile status uh, at this point in time. And this is a rarity. You're very rarely going to see Uncle John hook in any way, shape, or form. Now, I did not force the hook. Rob basically initiated the hook, and I just went into it with him. So that pretty much wraps up the match for me. It was a great super match. Again, thanks to Rob McNamara for uh, pulling me. Uh, where to now is the question. Well, the answer today, anyways, is back back to cardio. Uh, so I went from 207.2, and then last week before the super match, I was at 209 something. I can't remember the exact number. And now uh, this last week, I have gone right back into a, a very strict version of the diet that I've been on, still eating a ton of carbs. Here's another point. A lot of people tell me, you're not gonna be strong because you're not eating enough carbs. And they have no idea what my diet is. I eat a ton of carbs. I eat a ton of protein. I eat a ton of food. It's just all extremely clean and I work my ass off. That's, that's the only secret. So uh, with that being said, we're heading back to cardio and today we, we are going to do another weigh-in because now the goal of course has always been 198 but now 185 is looking a lot more realistic knowing how I'm feeling around you know 207 to 209. Uh, 185 is definitely going to happen. So uh, I think we can do 198 by the end of March and then 185 probably within a couple months of that. So that is the main goal, 185. Once we get there, we'll see how we feel and then we'll uh, start scheduling more super matches from there. All right, guys, just finished up another Monday morning cardio session. My favorite part of the week. Let's go upstairs and do another weigh-in. So here we go, we were at 209.7 last week, but remember that was a bit of an inflated number due to increased caloric intake. And 205.9, feeling good with that, feeling really good, good place to jump off. 
Huge thanks going out to all of our Patreon members, especially those at the Enthusiast and Maniac level. Stan Scott, Roger, Kane Fontecchio, Stacey Morgan, Coolburn, Badlands Arm Sports, Ready Go Garb, Mazel Jador, Bud Emmer, Ready Go Solutions, Aaron Yearsley, Jerry Milne, John Milne, and Arm TV's Gary Roberts. I hope you guys enjoyed the show today. I had a tremendously good time taking a look at that super match. It is a very good sign for me moving forward. Uh, the sky's the limit at this point. Training continues. We'll see you guys next week, and we'll be back to our weigh-ins. Maximum effort.